Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and speak to you about honey and specifically raw honey and its benefits and why I always keep it in my go bag. Uh, we tend to focus on everything that seems to go outside of our bag, all very high speed gear and all sorts of stuff that's going to either help us in an emergency or survival situation or as we're practicing our skills and out there in a uh, recreational uh, type capacity, it also facilitates everything, makes it easier, gives us experience, gives us a bit of comfort, but we never really focus that much or where most of us don't tend to focus too much on what goes inside the body to help us accomplish the mission. So I wanna spend a couple minutes on that and specifically on the benefits of raw honey. I wanna share with you the uh, top 10 reasons why I keep raw honey in my go bag, but before that I just want to talk a little bit about different types of honey. Now raw honey, raw honey is basically honey that hasn't been processed, that still has all sorts of uh, good stuff inside of here as far as pollen and things uh, that uh, occur naturally and uh, keeps all of those phytonutrients that I'll go into a little bit later in there that's going to help with all sorts of stuff and I'll tell you those 10 reasons uh, in a little bit. But uh, first of all, we want to think that all honeys are not created equally. Well, initially they are, but uh, a lot of the stuff that we find in our local supermarket isn't really the good stuff that's going to give you all of these benefits that I'm going to name in a bit. Uh, why? Because it's processed and basically all it is is glorified sugar as far as many of the honeys that are available out there because they tend to take the good stuff out, really refine it, and what you're basically left over with is... Uh, Stuff that has very little, if any, uh, benefit to you uh, as far as uh, nutrition. And if anything, it might even cause harm because of the false sense that you're putting something healthy into your body. Sometimes we tend to overdo it, especially when it tastes good. Uh, and like I said earlier, you're basically just adding more sugar uh, as opposed to something that's going to be healthy. So it really needs to be raw, needs to be unprocessed. Uh, you know, once again, I'm a layperson when it comes to this stuff, so this is just information that I've gathered, which is minor. There's a lot of information out there that'll really uh, get to the uh, nooks and crannies of what this is all about. Uh, for those of you that are looking uh, for more detail or more uh, clinical studies, um, things of that nature. Uh, so, uh, you know, keep in mind that a lot of this uh, natural type stuff, you know, isn't really looked upon or favored uh, by, uh, you know, the big industries and big pharma and all that other stuff. So you're going to find a lot of contradictory reports. But like everything else, give it a try. What's the worst that you're going to do? Put some uh, sweet tasting candy type substance in your mouth, you know, and give it a try and see how it works for you or if it does work for you. Hey, uh, I I'd be down for that experiment. Okay, uh, in my go bag, okay, I, it's tougher because this is kind of heavy, right? And there's a lot in here and there's just something that I'm going to keep for an emergency purposes. What I do, once again, put it in this little uh, plastic type bowl that once again will give me multi-purposes out in the field and in survival situation if I do need it. Um, but also what I do like about this, you can tell there's no rattling. Because uh, what I like to do is keep uh, some seasonings in here. Okay, which I normally do that way if I'm out there and I end up catching a fish or something like that. I have some extra stuff in there to make it a little bit tastier. Um, you know, they're also, once again, they provide uh, nutritional type stuff uh, that I would need while I'm out there in the field. Extra antioxidants and, and iodine and things like that. But what I do is I have this little glass bottle, okay, which is important. So we don't have any of this plastic that's going to go ahead. And here we are with something nice and raw. And we might put it into a little plastic container. And now we have the... Uh, the uh, the problem of possibly BPA or other toxins seeping into that nice raw honey, right? So we're gonna spend this extra money and trying to do all this good stuff for our body. Let's try to keep it in glass. And uh, you know, the one thing about it is that it is breakable and things like that, right? So that's what we have the plastic for. That's what we have our other spices in here for to keep it from rattling. Uh, that way it stays in my uh, go bag. And when I need it, I go ahead and retrieve it. Uh, so as, just as an example, one of the honeys that I like uh, the most that I've been using for years is this really raw honey. Now there's amazing amounts of uh, honeys out there that are that are great. Everybody has their own preference. I just really like first of all the ease of being able to find this uh, at most stores, and uh, second of all, really the taste. Uh, the taste is just something I, I love. Honey, I buy honey every time I travel. You know, from the local merchants and things like that. And to me, they all taste great. There's never really a bad one. But this one here just seems to add just something a, a little bit extra. And then that little uh, layer that it comes on top with, uh, that basically you could chew on like a uh, bubble gum. Uh, is also a little uh, added feature. 
that this comes with. This honey here is actually from Portugal, from my neighbor in Portugal uh, that's a beekeeper. Uh, you could tell it really all depends on what the, the bees uh, are actually uh, feasting on, so to speak. Uh, you know, with the pollen and everything like that to make the certain type of honey. And that's why some is darker, some is lighter. Uh, once again, the way that it's processed uh, or not processed is also going to contribute to the factor. Keep in mind that there are uh, some health risks. If people do have very low immune systems and they're going to eat raw honey, there's been cases reported of botulism, things like that. Uh, once again, from nobody that I know uh, that's been having this stuff. But of course, if you do have certain issues, once again, just something that I want to throw in there. Also, it's not recommended for children. Their immune system just isn't where it needs to be uh, at that stage in their life. So once again, keep that away from uh, infants and, and, uh, and younger children. Uh, I have given raw honey to my dogs. Of course, it's something sweet. They really like it. I give it very minimal. Uh, it helps with uh, uh, their mood. You know, while we're out there in the field and trying to accomplish certain missions, you know, especially on uh, certain hot days and, uh, you know, where the, where the weather just isn't cooperating with us. And also for any type of allergens or things like that, sometimes even when they get bit or stung, I'll put a little bit of honey on there because I know that they're going to end up licking it over and over and over. And instead of having something toxic on their body, you know, why not give them something that's not only going to help them, um, you know, uh, try to heal faster and take away that sting. But uh, also, if they do lick it or eat it, it's something that's going to be very good uh, internally for them and a uh, very tasty treat. So let me go ahead and just share 10 quick reasons uh, why I do keep raw honey in uh, my go bag. Number one, it's filled with phytonutrients, all right? So here's all this extra stuff that's in there that uh, nature puts into these plants and everything like that to protect them from UV rays and all this other stuff that's happening. But once we consume that in its raw form, we're also putting those phytonutrients in our body, uh, which uh, you know aid greatly with our nutrition. All right, uh, number two, would be uh, to soothe a sore throat. Uh, while we're out there in the field, a lot of you know, we'll wake up and those damp mornings and everything like that coming out of the tent, you get that little tingle in your throat. Uh, I end up uh, you know, having a uh, teaspoon of raw honey and it helps me tremendously with that. Um, another great thing is while I keep this in my go bag, I don't have to worry about it going bad because it doesn't really spoil, right? It kind of never expires. So another great reason to have this type of food or multi-purpose food uh, in my go bag. Um, uh, another reason, uh, honey is an antibiotic and an antibacterial. All right, so you're getting two for one with honey. A lot of things that we see out there, natural remedies, either have one or the other. You're actually going to get both uh, with raw honey. Okay, another reason would be uh, honey is a preservative. All right, so all of us, when we're out there trying to prep for certain situations, prep for emergencies, uh, you know, anything that we might have to prep on the go, here's a great preservative that you could use, uh, once again, multi-purpose, which is, which is what we're always looking for for anything that we're adding into uh, our gear. Uh, another reason is that honey is also a uh, natural immune system booster. So once again, stress uh, from being in an emergency situation, stress from uh, uh, putting all, uh, from all the physical activity that you're doing while you're out there, even in a recreational uh, capacity. Uh, once again, immune system goes down, honey helps to bring it back up, okay? Another reason would be that it's an energy booster. Uh, something that I've utilized because I just want to be kind of careful of what I put into my body, uh, something that I'm always aware of and something that I'm always teaching. So, of course, I have to always be aware of it and uh, lead by example. So things like when I'm doing uh, uh, marathons, half marathons, things like that, I'll keep some honey in my pack because I know it's something natural, not just empty calories that I'm going to put into my body. And I always get that little boost of energy, uh, which is always great, you know, not just physically, but of course, you know, mentally, especially if you have a marathon or some kind of goal that you got to get to uh, that finish line. In an emergency situation, that finish line is uh, pretty much saving your butt and surviving. So keep that in mind. Uh, another reason is that it can help relieve nausea, and I've used this, let's say I'm out there on a, on a little boat, fishing boat, and we're out there for a few hours, and we might have some of our natural training center members with us, and uh, they're just not feeling it, starting to get a little seasick or whatever. Once again, I'll give them a little bit of uh, raw honey, and nine times out of ten, they end up feeling uh, better, and you know we don't have to pull in back to shore and finish our trip earlier. Okay, so just something else. Um, another great reason, it adds flavor. So I was saying earlier, the way that I keep little spices in there in case I find a fish or uh, anything, even certain plants that are edible uh, to make some type of salad. Hey, if I could have this stuff with me, 
and especially the honey that's multi-purpose. And now I could throw that in there and turn something that, hey, I'm just eating this because it's nutritious and I need to survive or I need to accomplish what I'm out here trying to do. Turns it into something like that to, hey man, this tastes pretty damn good. <laughs> and on top of it, getting all of the benefits that uh, I had named earlier. All right, so something to think about, guys. You always uh, want to think outside the box. And we get all spend all this money on this great gear, uh, as I started out earlier. Well, it's time to start spending some money on the inside of your body. Because to me, that's the most important piece of gear that you could possibly go out there with. All right, this is Helder. Get some raw honey. Hope you enjoyed this review.